Have I got, uh, is it Ness? Yes. Here? Yes. Yes. And Gavin. Yes, sir. And I've also got, is it St John? St John is correct. Now, this is a complicated matter. Ness. Yes. Um, I want to be clear from the outset, because it may not be immediately obvious. Um, you are a singer and rapper, correct? Mainly a singer. Yes. Uh, but also, you are um, blind. Yes. And um, you brought a case today against St John, who was for a number of years your manager. Yes. Correct? Gavin, your role in this is slightly different, but ostensibly you've worked alongside Ness producing her music, That's correct. writing some songs, and in addition to that, being there during the studio time to produce her work. Yes. And you've worked, you say, for a number of years for free <coughs> for St John, who is Ness's manager, correct? Yes. Well, we'll discover that. Yes. Ness, you are suing St John. You say for a number of things. The most important part of your claim, Ness, is that you say St John simply hasn't come good on the various promises he's made. And what you're suing for today is £4,650 for, amongst other things, various promotional work that you have shelled out for that you say is St John's responsibility because he's the manager. You've paid that money and you want that money back. You say, in effect, and I'm going to put it in this unlegal way so that we all understand, all right? Thank you. You say, effectively, St John is a rubbish manager. He's all promise, he's got more front than Sainsbury's, but he doesn't deliver. Is that about right, Ness? Yes, it is. That he owes you that money. That's Absolutely. What, that's what you say. In reply, St John, who has provided me, I have to say, as you all have, with... A good deal of material, not all of it relevant, but I have to say the most important document he's provided me with is a contract. And St John says to me, all promotional work, all of the things you're suing for, are your financial responsibility, not his. Don't believe me, Judge Rinder, says St John. Look at the contract. Ness, you should have been more careful. That's the nature of the business. But also, St John, you bring a counterclaim against Ness for £2,800 because you say during the working life you had between the two of you, you flew her various places. It is the artist's responsibility, you tell me, and you've got it in black and white, to pay for her travel. You're entitled to that money, you say. That's the case between the two of you. Gavin, you've got a slightly different case, but you're standing with Ness because you bring the claim effectively together, because your point is the same one. You say, the man over there makes all lots of promises but doesn't deliver, and you say, Gavin, you worked for him, for St John, for the better part of four years, and you delivered everything he asked for, the EP, we'll come on to find out about what that is in due course, and especially you wrote a number of songs that you've never been paid for, and you want £3,325 straight away, because you say there's a value in the songs that you've produced, and what's more, you've delivered work that you've never been paid for. St John has a reply. St John's reply, very simply, is the first thing, you never delivered any of the stuff that you promised, I haven't even had it. How am I supposed to pay you for work that was never delivered? In addition to that, he says, it seems to me I construe this on your behalf. How am I supposed to put a value on these songs? 